In this video, we're going to explore what happens if we don't help Pan Am settle the score with Nash and reconcile with Saul in Cyberpunk 2077. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs and gaming commentary. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Big Dan Gaming. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Pan Am is a fan favorite character from Cyberpunk 2077, so I wanted to see what would happen if V completely neglected all of her optional content in the game and basically ended the friendship with Pan Am before it even started. We need to complete Ghost Town with her for the main quest line, but we can refuse to help her get revenge on Nash at the end of the mission if we so choose. Now I'm going to warn you, the footage I'm about to show you is absolutely cursed. I recorded it near the launch of the game when Cyberpunk was much buggier, and well, let's just say the first person camera ended up inside Pan Am's head for this conversation. Listen V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The f*** didn't show. So it was about vengeance, the whole time. The hell you know about me? Either you're not being straight with me, or you don't know what you want. Hard to say which is Just worse. listen to me, for f***'s sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. A Nash hunt wasn't part of our deal. Only because I thought he would show up in Rocky Ridge! But he didn't. Might not even be in their hideout. I know he's there, V. That f***ing Raffin cheated me. I can't just let it go. I can't. Do you really not understand that? No. Not what we agreed. Are you joking? Tell me you are, please. Not about to risk everything to settle a score that isn't even mine. You don't get it. This is more than no, just- No, Pan Am. Nash made a fool of you. I get it. But don't try and make one out of me. We hand the goods off to Sixth Street, then set up the helm and grab. That was our deal. That was our deal. Look, the Raffins really weren't worth the risk. Not talking to me now? Real mature. Come on. What do you want? To talk like normal people do. Was talking in the car spelled out in the contract? I can't seem to recall. Pan Am. Don't worry. I keep my word. Always. Don't know about you, but I'd rather you kept your word and things would be cool between us. Are we all right? Give me a minute, okay? Okay. Pan Am will remain salty for a while after failing to chase down Nash, but will still grab a drink with you at the bar after completing her deal with Sixth Street and telling Rogue to go f herself. Later on, after Pan Am's nomad homies get ganked by Kang Tao security forces, V and Pan Am will have some unique dialogue about Nash. We will destroy them. All of them. Provided you don't hold a grudge about it later. I won't, and you know it. By the way, after the whole Nash thing, I didn't v, think- listen. I have not forgotten. I will not forget. And I still believed you behaved like a complete asshole. You know, I... But Mitch is alive, thanks to you. And I will not forget that either. Ever. Besides, I promised you we would get your helmet. And we will. Was right. Hope they didn't go far. Having saved Mitch's life, V's reputation with Pan Am is redeemed, and she trusts you enough to help her with a quest to save Saul, the leader of the Aldecaldos. But hey, we're not about to start helping Pan Am now, are we? If you don't complete Pan Am's quest arc, you won't have the option of enlisting the Aldecaldos to help break into Mikoshi. I hadn't done Johnny's questline on this playthrough either, so I took the devil's route for the ending. Interestingly, V will still have the option to call Pan Am from the space station, and the call is surprisingly upbeat. Hey. Hey. Wow, it's been a while since I heard that voice. How's things at your end? I'm in the middle of a meeting with Mitch. He wants me to hang up. He's signaling wildly. Tell him to get lost. 
and tell him I said that. He says hello. To you and your venerable mother. Listen, I'm... I'm stuck in a shithole. It sucks hard. So leave the shithole. Come home. It's not that simple. No is a nice word. Beautiful sometimes. You should use it more often. Sorry, Mitch is about to blow a fuse. I'll have to call you back. During the end credits, Pan Am, Saul, and Mitch will all contact V and share some parting words. Hey V, it's Pan Am. Remember me? The one with the car? Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? Not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. If you've got something, or you know someone who does, give me a call, okay? I really appreciate it. So, yeah, um, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. Hello, V. Saul speaking. From the Elder Caldos. Um, I heard some big noise coming out at Night City with, uh, you involved. No idea what that was all about. But, um, if you're ever in trouble, I need a hand or a place to disappear. We're here. You saved an Aldecaldo's life. And we will never forget that. It's a debt we're happy to owe. Stay in touch, V. Hey, V! It's me, Mitch, remember? You saved my ass from Kang Tao. Well, it doesn't matter if you don't remember, because... Because I do. Anyway, if you ever need help with anything, I got your back, all right? You just give me a call and I'm in Night City before you know it. Doesn't matter if you want someone to disappear or if you need lunch brought to your office. Literally anything, all right? All right, take care now. There is a lot to unpack here. For starters, skipping Pan Am's quest line means that she doesn't reconcile with Saul and the Aldecaldos. She's asking V for potential work and saying see ya around the afterlife, so she apparently stuck to the loner Merc path in Nike City. It's kind of sad to see her separated from her family like this. I was surprised that Saul called V, though, considering that Pan Am's quest is all about rescuing him from the wraiths. So, how did he survive that situation without V and Pan Am's help? Did Pan Am go and rescue Saul on her own, and then fail to reconcile with him? Did the other Aldecaldos go and rescue him? Or did the Wraiths just decide to let him go at some point? I fully expected him to wind up dead when I skipped the Riders on the Storm quest. So yeah, overall, it's a really bad idea to skip out on Pan Am's questline. I can see not helping her get revenge on Nash in the one quest, but skipping her other side quests locks you out of a lot of content, including one of the best endings of the game, and her romance if you're playing as a male character. So there you have it. What happens if you don't help Pan Am with her problems in Cyberpunk 2077? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Cyberpunk and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.